Good morning, Hector Cafferati Eagles. Happy Monday. It is wow. February Yay. 1st, 2021, Yay. day one of our specials. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance as we have Elena, Marjorie, Genesis, Carlin, and Jason from Miss Newberry's class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. So, man, Miss Ducko, we have a lot wow. happening this morning. We sure did. Okay, we have some new students that are coming back to us from Lee Home Connect, so we want to welcome them all here. Welcome back, okay. welcome back. We have some positive energy we referrals. Do. We have a positive energy referral that goes out to Isabella Gonzalez in grade five. It happened, where did this happen? It happened in the media center. Miss Barb said a student left his freezy ticket in his AR book, and after returning it, I looked up to see who it was currently checked out to. She spoke to Isabella's teacher, and as soon as she arrived at class, she looked in the book, and there, there they were. She happily brought them back to me, and I was able to give them to the student. That's oh, being that's responsible awesome. and Absolutely kind. And respectful. Good. Yes. Yeah, so, Isabella, I will put this in your teacher's mailbox. We also have some positive bus referrals that were given to us on Friday after school. Bus 2973, Jackson Atkins. He is respectful, responsible, safe, self-controlled, and an awesome attitude. He knows his bus number. Awesome. And can put his ooh, seat, oh, seat belt on. There we go. He's an awesome young man. Good job, Jackson. Love hearing that. And Donovan Ortiz, also from 2973. Respectful, responsible, safe, self control, and awesome attitude. An awesome young man. He knows his bus number and he can put on a seatbelt by himself. That awesome. helps the attendance. It does. And Dr. So Kirk, good oh, job. Wait. One more. Oh my gosh. Tyler oh. Bancroft. Tyler, you're rocking it. You're very well behaved, young man, and you know your bus that you follow all the rules. He even tries to be a helper on the bus. Love that. Love that. Indeed. So I am thinking we have a new energy bus principal this month. We it's do. It's called Love Your Passengers. The month of and February. Look, he was being a helper, so that is loving his passengers. He is. Literally loving he his li passengers. Literally. So tell us about loving your passengers. Loving your passengers is focusing on seeing the true gift in every person that we meet. Everyone has something special about them that stands out. Mm -hmm. And what we in especially in the month of February. It's finding the good in everybody. And, and in yourself. True. Yeah. And as we start second semester, and I know that we're coming off taking the diagnostic test, mm -hmm. and many of the students were nervous about that, it's about starting over too as, what is your goal for this quarter? For th we're in third quarter. We are. What we is are. your goal? What is your vision? Where do you see yourself going with your academics? And how are you moving forward? But you're still the driver of your own bus. And you need to stay in your lane. Awesome. So. And you know what? I have some exciting news. You know who else loves their passengers? Miss Toomey. Absolutely. Miss Toomey deserves a huge <laughs> high five from us because she put in for a grant for Ooh. a break from technology, a real book, yes please. <laughs> and she was able to get um, 50 copies of the Watsons Go to Birmingham. Ooh. So they are being purchased by through Donors Choose. So we're really excited about the work that Miss Toomey's doing, and congratulations to her and her fifth graders who are going to get to read this awesome book. This I love awesome. that book. Um, so. Also, a quick reminder that students, if you do not know how you're getting home today, please, the new students, new students that came in today, I'm sorry, um, if you need a bus pass or make sure that you check with your teacher throughout the day that we know how you are getting home if you're a parent pickup or you need a bus pass. We've got it almost under control, but I want to make sure that everybody yep. knows how they are getting home today. And a reminder to teachers that we are going back to specials for some of our yes. classes. So we talked about that on Friday. Um, music class will be coming to you today only because Ms. McCreary is out. Okay. But uh, I'm sorry, art class will be coming to you <laughs> class. Music class will be in person. And then also um, for science, our upstairs, second, third, fourth, fifth, they will all be going to, to see Miss Q in her science lab. Wow. Um, and Miss Q will be coming to kindergarten and first. Outstanding. So, and we have some birthdays. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday to Ashley Carazano Ruano in grade four and Carlin. 
Gidry. Gidry. Gidry, sorry. Who's sitting right Here's here. The... Happy birthday. So happy birthday to both of you. Make it a great day of teaching and learning here at Hector Kefrata <laughs> Elementary School. Don't forget, <laughs> be respectful, be, be responsible, responsible, be ready to learn, and... But I know that we had Miss Persichino told me on Friday and didn't tell everyone this miles were free yeah. and her kids were disappointed. So for Miss <laughs> Persichino's class and everybody else, don't forget smiles are free today. So make sure you share one with a neighbor. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Love your passengers.